Right there. Come up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you're good right there. Okay, cool. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna get the guys with it, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and then you Well, I'll, I'll actually probably do it right here. We'll see if we can get everyone involved. Um, does anybody have a quarter on them? I have a couple in here. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, so if I could take, I'm just and shake these right so that we shake the quarter right into the balloon. Would that be sick? Can you actually hear it shaking around in there? Well, no, because it's not in there yet. But in the future, if you could hear into the future, like some magicians claim they can see into the future, I can actually hear into the future. So when I shake them or when I drop the coin, I don't actually hear it dropping. I hear it shaking because I'm stuck in another time zone and everything, right? So um, it'd be great if I could take it and pop it right in there, right? If I could just like, push it and good. make it go in. And it'd be good if I could, but I can't. Instead, uh, I'm going to have her do it. Yeah, right? She can do it. Yeah. So if if, 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 if if I could push it in, it would be good, right? But I don't aim for good, I'm, I'm aiming for amazing. So instead of doing it myself, we'll see if you can do it. Do you think you could do it? No? You gotta say a magic word maybe. I don't want you to think I have anything to do with this, right? Man, it's weird, how'd you do that? I have no idea. High five. Great. Wow, and you know what? You can get it back out. Yeah? Get it out? Okay, yeah, I can. Would it, would it be an amazing trick if I could get it out? Yeah. All right, guys, it'd be amazing if I could get that out of there. Let's amazing see. Amazing already. Ready, ready? Let's see. I can do this. I don't want to settle for less than amazing, so... <laughs> you just said I had to get it out, and it'd be amazing, right? Should have been more specific. Okay, this is what we'll do. You expect me to get it out, like, magically, yeah, right? Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, you didn't specify. What we'll do here is I'll um, I'll take this deck of cards here, and now I'm I'm so used to doing this with with my deck of cards in my hand. You know how you probably have like a son or a daughter or a niece or nephew, and nowadays every everyone is used to having a phone in their hand. They can do everything with a phone in their hand. It's like a, it's like surgically attached to their hand. With me, that's the deck of cards, right? So I'm gonna make this trick more difficult by doing it with one hand attached to the deck. Okay, so I've got the balloon in here, the deck over here, and um, I'm gonna try to make this trick be more like this this deck you know it's like with magicians it's just like our children are our props right and you ever heard that like oh why can't you be more like your brother right well I'm like that with my props like why can't you be more like this deck of cards because you're inside the balloon and I'm trying to get him outside right so we'll call it inside out and we're gonna make the coin be more like his fellow prop and get him out okay so inside out we've got it definitely inside there right yeah. and definitely outside let's see if we can do this we'll try real hard here and I'll do it before all the air is gone you think I can <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> my dad, I apologize. I messed up. I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to get the coin out. I accidentally put the deck in. I did it backwards. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, while we've got it like this, uh, would you hold your hand out like this for me? And I just want you to uh, put your other hand right on top. And now we've got the coin trapped in the balloon, trapped with the deck, right? And uh, while they're all in there, I'd like you to just do me a favor and say the name of any card you would like, except for the Eight of Spades. That's what I wanted. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said except for. Okay, and now you're not allowed to use the Eight of Diamonds either, so what do you want to go with? All right, let's do um, Eight of Hearts. Right? Eight of Hearts, of course. Okay, the Eight of Hearts. So what I'll do is I'll take the Eight of Hearts out of that deck and I'll turn it upside down, okay? And then I'll put it back into the deck so it's facing the wrong direction from all the other cards. So the Eight of Hearts will be the only one in the whole deck that's upside down, okay? And I know you guys are busy people, so I'll do it before I finish this sentence. Ta-da! Wasn't that an amazing <laughs> trick? Let's take a look. So, well. No, we're gonna look for the eight of hearts, right? How are we gonna recognize the eight of hearts when we see it? It's upside down. Going one backwards. Yeah, it, it should, well, I mean backwards is, you know, it's kind of a, a mean term. I try to just say upside down, so we'll take a look. And take a look. Damn. <laughs> right. He's so, kidding. He's I, amazing. I try, right? He's I try real hard. Yeah. Right? So that is, <laughs> that is my performance. I hope you enjoyed it. I think you did, and I know you guys did. Thank you. Uh, I, I think you guys already got the, everyone already got these except for maybe them. As far as shameless self-promotion, I'm Ethan, it's I.E. the Magician, trying to get famous and stuff, so I'd love it if you liked me on Facebook or shared my videos on YouTube and all that, because um, that's how it works.